Hi guys. So it is Tuesday. I haven't vlogged much today because it's just been kind of busy. We went to our friends yesterday pretty much the whole day and we were on the farm having fun. So I probably had a little bit of footage from that. Not really anything, but um, yeah. So today we just kind of focused a lot on our schoolwork and then I had to run to the grocery store. Anyways, I'm going to do this kid's hair. It looks crazy. Yes, I know. It looks like I'm not taking care of her hair, but guess what? I told her to take out her hair on the weekend so many times, and she refused. Or didn't refuse, but she just... Forgot. Forgot, Michaela? Yeah. This kid's going to have to learn the hard way, because when it's time to do this by herself, she will then understand the struggles of being a mom and uh, having to do hair, and the struggles of doing her hair by herself. So... We're going to um, just give it a wash, a quick wash, and um, I should be pre-pooing it before so it can be easier, your dad's here, easier to handle, so we'll see. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to section it off. Right now, without it being... One thing I've noticed about this kid's hair is that it needs to be washed more frequently because she does experience product buildup. You can see it here. It looks, it's like white or little um, particles from whatever it is that I used in there. I can't even remember at this point. Okay. Really? Okay, Mike. Yeah. And so. You guys had a good day? Please. Please, Mr. Mommy. Taste the noodles. You're just boring. Man, you're not time for this I nonsense here. Who, who, who made that up? You did? <laughs> Someone made that up. Come on, I gotta hurry. It's like the three way high five. <laughs> There's no such thing. Yes, there is. You all go like this. <laughs> wow. Let's see. We're looking closely to inspect her scalp because one of the biggest issues with her is like when we're done washing her hair, her scalp can often be kind of flaky, flaky and dirty still. Mm -hmm. So the verdict is looking good. Wow. Erin's down there yelling at those dogs because they just won't shut up. Ugh. But yeah, let's see. Turn around. So that is her hair. Okay. Pile of you just took afro. It the side. There. Anyways, that's her hair. Turn around and say hi. Hi. How? Let me see you. You like it? Yeah. It looks really nice, actually. This is what I used in there. I, I don't know if I keep showing you guys the same product, but this is what I used in hers just now. However, to... Move, don't block the light for a second. I need the light to show this. Yeah, thank you. So, however, I did use this to kind of pre-poo it. I don't even know if that's a natural pre-poo. Like, I didn't do it for very long. I, I put this on. I proceeded to use, like, these clips to hold her hair in about four sections. And four or five sections. And then I um, washed it. You look so tired right now. So I'm catching up her hair right now and I'm going to show you guys a video of me just cutting up. <laughs> I don't know that you need, not that you need a video, but this is done just cutting up. What, Michaela? Stockings. Stockings and nylons. We just make our own hair ties and look at them. They are super, super stretchy. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, and we like them because they do work better and they, they can catch up a lot more hair than the little, um, hair ties in the store. Yeah, especially when those keep breaking on us. That's right. I tried to use one the other day and it's like snap and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> ooh, baby. That's what I like. Snap, snap, snap. But it was an exciting sound. Okay. Yeah, it should be an exciting sound when those change come out of your allowance to go buy those hair ties that are snapping on us. Uh, you don't even use them. Right? Right? You just said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing to her hair, really. I'm actually just... Her hair is a hot mess right now, and she's in a rush 
to what possibly go to youth night. Possibly? What do you mean? Because I'm... I, I feel mm. like I need to let you know that you sabotaged your own self time and time again, right? You were supposed to take out your hair last, like on Saturday. Hold, hold it up. Let me see in the mirror. Does that look even? Does it look even? Mm -hmm. it look Speaking like of which, my birthday is next Saturday. Can you believe it? We're miss we're reaching the hundred not hundred. I was supposed to say hundred year mark and I like <laughs> <laughs> We're reaching the one year mark. I remember my last birthday. Put that clip in here. <laughs> that last birthday when you turned five. Ouch. Ouch. Well sometimes you act like you're turning no more than six. Sorry, that was the camera. Sarah. I was holding that side because this arm's getting tired. After drying mixed hair, you guys, or after washing it, this is what I used. You guys have seen this. I don't know if, well, I, I don't even know if I formally showed it here on this channel, but I did show do a review at, a review on it on Beauty by Chick. I just got makeup on it. <laughs> but it is this microfiber towel that I picked up at, I think, Winners at one point, and it's amazing. It's like, I guess it's supposed to be like, I guess it's supposed to be like I'm um, using a t-shirt to wash your, um, to dry your hair as opposed to using a towel. And this, it's the bomb.com. It was like $7.99. Anyways, after doing that, then I, d I proceeded to use this on there. And it is this, what do you call it? I can't remember what it's called. It's this Ion, oh, Ion Repair Solution. And as you can see, it's on clearance because I gotta close the store. Those dogs are being annoying, but it's on sale because it was finally, it, they're not even making it anymore. So I picked up like the last the last three at Sally's when I was there. So I have two full bottles left. This is the second one that I'm on to. And this stuff is amazing. I'm gonna be so sad when it's gone. Thank goodness though, I did find this, the Brazilian Keratin um, Treatment Oil with Peck. Pecky oil and this stuff actually works good. I've been, sh I think I showed it to you. Sorry if I'm showing it to you again, but this is like a great alternative for this one because when your hair gets washed, you can just put it on there and it keeps it nice and soft and detangled without and makes it easy for you to comb through when you're going to comb it. So, if for all of you guys who are watching who may have kids with biracial hair, these are really good products to just help soften the hair. Both of these. They are really, really good. However, you just got to keep in mind the thick. You have to think about how um th the thickness of your child's hair. So for Michaela, as you can see, she has more African American hair like mine. It gets very curly when it's washed, and it can be worn curly too. But as it gets bigger throughout the day, it's going to become more like Afro texture. So for hers, she can take more oil in her hair. As for Gabrielle, her hair is more on the Caucasian side, and so for her hair is rather thin. And if I do put too much oil in it, it will then um. It will get become like, I want to say clumpy, but after a while she gets a lot of buildup and it will be built up really fast and I have to wash her hair more regularly. And I mean, hers is also easier to wash. And then for Charlotte, it's really, really good too because she does have that like in between hair where it is the texture of both African American and Caucasian, but then she does have a lot of the curls, like very, very spiral curls. And these products work amazing. So check them out guys.